guys, it's just a video for me because I haven't done one for a while um, on just things I've bought recently, things I like. Um, yeah, there's a lot of um, sort of new things here that have, I've only just tried. So um, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, one of the first things I bought, which I did a post on the other day, which I need to redo my nails, is this from Barry M. It's the Berry Cosmo and it's a lovely fall colour. Um, I can't stop wearing it at the moment. Um, so I would check them out. I've got loads of their nail, nail varnishes um, and they're really good. Secondly, I've got um, a new perfume, uh, Burberry's Weekend, which I've had before, but I kept putting it off and I found this 50ml bottle for £20, so I invested in this because it's one of my favourite perfumes and yeah, it was really cheap. Okay, next I bought a heat protectant spray from Boots because um, I recently had my hair bleached and I don't use them, so I thought since my hair's breaking a little bit, I'd get one, see if it helps. Is it gonna help a little? <laughs> I don't know. With that and a, a repair mask, I don't know, but this is the one I bought. Um, it's Boots Style Works um, UV filter heat protect spray um, sleek finish, and it's, yeah, it was cheap and comes in a nice bottle. Then I bought something very Christmassy which is two little votives from Yankee Candle and I have so, yeah they smell pretty much the same this one smells like caramel snowflake cookie I don't know what that's supposed to be and yeah this one's like Christmas cookie it's um vanilla -y. some more caramel vanilla thought I could get them on yeah, made my room smell nice. Next I bought um, one of the sleep makeup palettes. I have had a blusher from them before um, and that was called Rose Gold. I think that was really popular a good few years, maybe two years ago. Flo de Force had it, um, so I thought I would try it. <laughs> and I've just got the O Natural palette. Now you can never have too many new palettes. Um, yeah, I just fell in love with this one because um, there's probably only about four shimmery sort of nude browns, bronze, um, and I'm a sucker for bronzes, even though purple is supposed to accentuate my eye colour, I go for browns. But um, yeah, there's a lot of matte colours in there which I like, which I haven't got. Um, yeah, and you can't have too many, you know, eye palettes. I think this is about 7 99 and there's there's a whole range of them. Everybody knows about sleep. If you haven't, check these out. They're in most boot stores and um, probably uh, more towards like the big city stores. Okay, so uh, the next item I have here is from um, Soap and Glory. Now one of my friends, Nicola, she is the queen of Soap and Glory and when you go into a bathroom it's just a whole massive shelf full and she has duplicates of everything so uh, um, I actually used uh, this product at her house um, and of course I bought it for myself now because I just can't get enough of it um, it's the scrub of your life and it smells very girly um, perfumey I don't know like candy not too much candy but very girly um, and I've used um, a Clarins one before that I uh, I absolutely loved um, I got that last year, I think it was, and it came with the anti-cellulite cream. Um, now that was a good one, that was very, very, very gritty, but this one isn't so gritty, and it still makes your skin feel so soft. Get hold of this if you can. Get someone to buy it for you for Christmas, okay? Just get hold of this if you get, you know, if you just want that bit of, uh, you know, pampering one night, I'd definitely do this. Okay, so I've only got about two items, three items left, um, and the first one is... It came in a Christmas cracker from the, my local salon where I get my hair done and it's uh, L'Oreal Professional Absolute Repair li Lipidium and it's basically for uh, for damaged hair, coloured hair um, and it came in a little set in a little Christmas cracker and it was about £5 and I've got an intense mask here and I've got a shampoo here and they're like, doing really well this mask is a lifesaver your hair, you leave it on for about 3-5 minutes depending on how damaged your hair is and yeah I can feel the difference already it's just it's not too smooth but it's really nice um, yeah I'm still giving this one a go these two because um, I, I tend to stick once I found something you know I like to stick with it and it, at the moment it's been Aussie Miracle Moist so yeah it's, do, it's doing well okay so my last item is a facial oil it's the Super Facialist by Una Brennan and 
these sort of cleansing oils seem to be coming in, coming in sort of fashion with uh, with bloggers I've seen lately. Um, so I thought I'd give this one a go because I thought I saw um, Viviana does makeup and she had I think it was like a, a brightening cream from Una Brannan. So I'm, try I'm trying the facial oil. You uh, put it on your skin while it's while it's dry. You rub away all the you know your um, your makeup from that day, and then you wash it off afterwards, and it, it foams up once you wear. Uh, it's always beeping then. Once, once you put the water to it, you can really, really get a deep clean. But um, yeah, I've only used it once so far and really liking it. It was about 10 99 so it wasn't cheap. But um, if you can get hold of one, try it. Um, I don't know how it would work on oily skin though. I don't know if that affects it in any way. Um, so don't, don't quote me on that if you've got oily skin and you try it and you come out in a breakout. Okay, so that's everything for today. I know I haven't done a, a video in quite a while because I tend to find them quite awkward and I'm not very good at talking to my camera. Um, but yeah, I thought since it's Christmas and I've bought quite a few things lately. I, oh, do you know what? I've actually bought something that I'm wearing, so I'll show you. This, drop, um, this dress is from Zara. I'm a bit obsessed with Zara lately. And it's very comfortable. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll post another one soon, but um, yeah, hopefully it won't be so awkward. I'm getting used to talking to my camera, sort of. But yeah, I've got um, a Christmas post that I need to do. So watch out for it and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye bye.